Hey, I'm Brian Germain. I wanted to share with everybody a pilot sheet packing method that might actually change the way you think about packing your pilot sheet. I know what you're thinking. What's the difference, right? I wad it up as long as it fits in there and it's going to extract nicely enough that it doesn't hurt my shoulder when I throw the pilot sheet, you know, or get a hard pull. What's the difference? Well, here's the difference. Is that we can, on occasion, get an out-of-sequence deployment in which the deployment pin gets extracted or the closing loop breaks during the free fall or maybe as we're climbing out of the airplane and now we've got ourselves what's called a horseshoe malfunction, right? The idea is that the parachute goes but we did not put the pilot sheet out there and so therefore it may get stuck in the pouch in which case I would now cut away, dump my reserve and my stuff would still be attached to me. My main would actually still be attached to me via my pouch. So there's a pretty good chance of actually having an entanglement, a main reserve entanglement. So to help prevent that, we need to pack the pilot sheet in a manner that allows us to extract it by the handle and by the bridle itself in the event that things leave in an order that we didn't originally plan on. So this particular method allows the bridle to extract very nicely and then the bridle can pull the pilot sheet out. So now I don't actually have to reach back and throw the pilot chute in most cases. And if I do, it's still going to be extractable. But there are many methods that actually prevent this from happening. One method involves, and I'm going to do kind of a, a very quick, rough job here to get the idea across, the bridle exiting the bottom of the pilot chute. If I put the bridle in this way, what happens then is this will turn sideways in the event that the bridle tries to extract the pilot chute and it may jam up in there and especially if I've got a very uh, strong spandex pouch or a Cordura pouch as some of the manufacturers use there's a pretty good chance that it'll lock in there indefinitely and when I say indefinitely I mean the rest of your life right? so we have to make sure that first of all this bridle extracts in a manner that allows it to all leave without turning the thing sideways, but we also have to make sure that the bridle reaches the end here and does not punch the pilot sheet up. So this particular method, and it's not the only method that accomplishes this goal, but it's the one that I teach because I use it, I know it works. I've been using it for over 20 years, and I've had numerous people come to me and say, Brian, thank you. That totally saved my life. I love that thing. So here's the deal. I'm going to make a little bit of space. If I lay the pilot sheet on its back, if I lift from the bridle attachment point, and then I bring the edge of the pilot sheet down to where the skirt meets the mesh, and then I cut it in half. So I've created a half moon shape. Let's do that one more time. I'm going to lift the bridle, and I'm going to close it up. And everything else can be pretty standard. This is a very common method to cut it in thirds first and then bring the bottom up. So from here, if I was to just roll this thing up just from here, what happens then is that this extracts. So, here we go. I'm going to lay it on its back, and now I'm going to lift, close, cut it in thirds, cut it in half by lifting the bottom up, and you'll see why I go bottom up and top, not top down. Here's another wonderful trick. If you place the pilot chute itself on the rig, right where it's going to be ultimately, that way, when you fold the bridle, and I like to do it inside, but you can do this inside or outside, back and forth inside here, and then I'll roll it up very neatly, and then place this whole thing into here. In the event that I've got an out-of-sequence deployment, Mess away. Very little effort. Enjoy that. Give it a try. It's not that hard. 
Here's the alternative. If I was to have the bridle exiting the bottom of the pilot chute and then tuck it in, there's a high probability that there will not be... Oh, look at that wadding up inside there. <coughs> you may not extract in the event of a horseshoe. And then I've got my mane trailing behind me from here, even though I've cut away. I can grab this handle and maybe extract it. It may be very difficult to get it out of there. Hopefully I will. But if I use this pilot chute packing method, I don't have to worry about that. So I can, if I choose to, put the bridle on the outside of the pilot chute, roll it on up that way instead of putting it inside the mesh because some people worry about the mesh wearing out or something. I've been doing it that way for a long time. had not had a problem, but it's up to you. And then you tuck it in. And the beauty of packing the pilot chute, the last phase of it, right here when we do the bridle on the rig, is that I don't have to deal with stuffing any extra bridle inside after the pilot chute's in the pack. How cool is that? So, you don't necessarily have to change everything about the way you're doing, but if you switch to this method, there's a chance that you will survive a horseshoe, and I'm in favor of that. Right on. Well, I'm Brian Germain. Happy jumping. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.